The Hoffa's fat pad is a well innervated, well vascularized fat pad underneath the kneecap that pads the knee in the anterior or front of the knee. Because of the fact that it's well innervated and well vascularized, this is often a pain source in patients. The fat pad can become impinged in medical terminology and cause significant pain in the front of the knee. Typically you feel this walking up or down or coming from a seated to standing position. This fat pad is located just underneath the kneecap, so if I turn the knee model sideways, it's located just inferior or below what we call the patella, which is the kneecap bone. Improving the long-term prognosis of Hoffa's fat pad impingement syndrome often relies on improving the functionality of the knee. The first thing that I usually start with is patellofemoral tracking. I usually recommend strengthening the quadricep muscle, including the vastus medialis, and improving the gluteus muscle, the butt muscle. Getting these two major muscle groups of the lower extremities strong and appropriately functioning will typically improve the pain. The three main treatment options that we typically used in medicine are corticosteroid injections or cortisone injections to reduce the pain. These don't do anything functionally though for the pain. They only are an anti-inflammatory. The second thing that we typically do is formal physical therapy and work on the patellofemoral tracking mechanism. The third option that I found to be very successful is the utilization of your own platelets and performing PRP injections to produce a long-term anti-inflammatory effect. Specifically with PRP, we utilize a chemical or a cytokine called interleukin-1 receptor antagonist. This is a potent anti-inflammatory produced by the platelets. In summation, there are two main goals with treating Hoffa's fat pad impingement syndrome. The first is treatment of the patellofemoral maltracking syndrome. The second is reducing the inflammatory process in the Hoffa's fat pad itself.